most respected dear family members, my pranams to you and felicitations of the 68th Independence Day of our motherland. Let us think, let us imagine, let us recollect, let us march forward, let us appreciate and let us get energized from the past of our motherland. Our motherland is a country which existed on the surface of the globe earth for the last not less than 10,000 years according to archaeological evidence. Our country could contribute to the world so many customs and rituals, so many concepts, so many stories, so many experiences of great people and messages plus the truth about the life as philosophy, the science, the technology and rituals. Our country could exist for the last 10 millennia when other civilizations and other cultures got vanished from the surface of the globe earth. You know that Egyptian civilization is no more. Mesopotamia has got vanished. Roma culture got erased off from the surface of the globe earth. Mesopotamia is no more. Babylonia is no more. And the Chinese civilization is on the verge of disappearing even though it is making a resurrection taking the spirit of Indian knowledge and Indian values. Think about the past of India and teach your children, teach your family members, teach the Dharma followers, teach the society and teach the Indian citizens about the great heritage of India. Learn as much possible as from our heritage. If all the good things can be taken from our heritage, Simultaneously, do remember that the negatives existed in our heritage or the negatives inculcated for the last 200 or 300 years ago, that also should be erased off from our culture. Our culture is scientific, logical and rational, even though many intellectuals and many leftists are not till now approving that, agreeing that or welcoming that. A day will definitely come, whatever is to be existed, that will be existing on the surface of the globe earth and nature will nurture that. Just remember that. In 1917, the communism got developed up to the present level. That communism could not survive, not even, not even 100 years, it could not celebrate the the 100th birthday, Russia got disrupted and broken down. Chinese people got deviated from communism. Cuba is almost nullified on the surface of the globe earth. The communism in India has become a part of some other political party. So a, a consolidated philosophy of communism could not survive on the surface of the globe earth. In spite of many, many country people followed that, many, many countries followed that principles and refined at the times. That communism got vanished and wiped out, whereas you can see that Indian culture and Indian civilizational values could exist for the last 10 millennia with the support of the intellectual rishis and scholars and try to learn try to teach, try to preach, try to protect and try to propagate the great heritage of our motherland scientifically, logically and rationally. If you are not learning that, if you are not teaching those knowledge to your children and your family members and your friends and colleagues, don't think that others will take the responsibility of spreading our heritage. So this 68th independence anniversary should give, will give us an energy for learning our past 
understanding the past, studying the past and teaching the past of our motherland. Exactly like that. Learn, understand, try to analyze and do your level best for making our country now in the present one of the greatest democracy in the world with all the good in that and minimum bad in that. You are well aware that the dynasty of the rule of the country for the last about 60 years could got just removed now whereas a new reign is coming for ruling the country. So our past is getting resurrected now again and our culture is getting more energized. Our values are coming to the learning system and India is once again coming back and we feel that that comeback, that return may be good, will be good if and only if I and you are learning about Indian heritage. If I and you are learning the Indian heritage as I told you in a rational background and teach to the next generation and also preach to the people who are supporting that and not supporting that and protecting our dharma, protesting against whatever is happening to our culture through that pathway by integrating the spirituality and also with that of the science and technology and taking good from the past and retaining all the good from the modern, we can definitely develop in a better way and organic development is inevitably possible, is possible if and only if each and every Indian takes the pledge that the 68th Independence Day will be celebrated for bringing back the good from the past for integrating with the good from the present. So if we can become good, our family will definitely will become good, our dharma will become good, our society will become good and our nation will become good. Do not give the responsibility of learning and teaching the good from India to others. Our teachers are not well versed about the greatness of India. Our teachers are not well versed about the culture of India. Our teachers are not uh, equipped for teaching through the syllabus about the heritage of India. Because we were looking to the other countries for a better education, ignoring our own good values. Now it may come back. So, present India, the India now should... Uh, energized by itself, develop by itself and work by itself, march forward by itself through our devoted, dedicated, sincere involvement of learning and teaching our cultural values with all the modern knowledge and let us prepare for, for building one of the best countries in the world in the future. India will definitely become one of the greatest countries. Indian voice has been echoed now in many places. A change in the top ruling system could send a great message to the people of the world that India will become a different country. Whomsoever may be in the top chair, one thing is very sure, India will be changing. India is going to change. Never denigrate India. Never belittle India. Never make fun of India. Never degrade India. And India is our motherland. As Lord Rama said in Ramayana, Janani Janma Bhumishcha Surga Dabigariyasi My mother and my motherland are far at higher level, far greater level than my own expected heaven or paradise. So my mother and my motherland stand always above the heaven or paradise. I request each and every one of you on the on this day of 68th Independence Anniversary Celebration occasion 
think about the past of India on all branches of knowledge. The past of India for mathematics, for astronomy, for metallurgy, for health science, for civil engineering knowledge, for the management principle, for the philosophy, for the psychology, for the spirituality. Look back, we have got enough and look in the present how we are going to utilize the past knowledge and the modern knowledge not only from India, from outside too, integrating the inside knowledge and outside knowledge, integrating the past knowledge and the present knowledge, integrating the spiritual knowledge and the scientific knowledge, integrating the knowledge existed all over the world for the benefit of our motherland's development. Let us do today our level best for this integration. Let us do our level best to learn, teach, preach and propagate the values and the modern knowledge for building an excellent future India. An excellent future India. I got thrilled when I, watch, when I was watching the Rajya Sabha channel yesterday in the TV. Many of the bills, constitutional amendment 119th and 120th, constitutional amendment could pass through the Rajya Sabha 187 votes and zero against that without any problem. Silently, silently and silently, which is a violent change, that cooperation, coexisting, collaboration, complementing, instead of conflicting, instead of contradicting, instead of confusing, we can come together. There is no question of talking about the so-called ruling party and no question of talking about the opposition. Nobody got elected to sit in the opposition chair. They are all rulers. They are supporting, they are criticizing, they are correcting, they are modifying, they are energizing and they are doing their level best to see that one. Every rule amended or created is for the benefit of 125 crore people of India. Both, not both, all type of Hindus, all Christians, all Muslims, the leftist, rightist and the Middle East people should get benefited out of our culture, our values, our rules, our laws and also our heritage and our modern approach. This 68th Independence Day, let us pray that India should become one of the greatest developed country in the world and for which we should take inspiration from the past. We should work in the present and we should expect for the best future for our motherland, for our society, for our dharma, for our family and for ourselves. With these words, I would like once again, uh, I would like once again to request you pray, pray hundred times. If we have got hundred more birth, if we have got hundred more janmas, let us pray to the almighty, omnipotent, omnipresent, divine power that let all these janma be allowed us to take on the lap of our motherland. Our Bharat, great nation, which has survived for the last 10,000 years, even with the tears on her eyes, she did not die, she did not perish. Her culture is still existing as an energy source for one and all with these words. My pranams reminding you that past of India, take good from that, present of India, utilize the good of the modern and the past, prepare for the future of India so that we can make our destiny glorious and marvelous. With these words, I would like to conclude my message of the 68th Independence Day. Thank you very much. Pranams to you.